Weekend retreats are a haven for DIYers who know just enough to be dangerous. And when property owners get in over their heads, uh, I think I the door up. We're here to save them from their reno gone wrong. Oh, for crying out loud. In just two days, we're going to whip these weekend warriors into shape. Oh my god! I'm Dave Depence here, and this is Reno My Reno. Kevin and Chantel like spending as much time as they can at their lake house. The trouble is, the basement reno has started, but never finished. After time, they just accepted the half-finished look, and slowly, furniture, TVs, beds, blanket walls, and even a dartboard found a home amongst the ruins. But after seven years, Chantel has had enough. She's not letting Kevin start any other projects until this one gets finished. So we're here to kick Kevin into gear. Ooh, so uh, this is the guest quarters. Yes, it is. Whose idea was this? I'm pretty sure it was mine. The walls never got done, so he said, get out, get out some sheets. We'll make walls with sheets. It's good, though, because we don't want our guests staying for longer than two days anyway, so they don't feel right. overly that comfortable down here. Yeah, and you've even, well, you've decorated it nicely. You got some photos <laughs> and some lamps and, oh, you, know. you know, some homey touches. I think Dave's overreacting. Oh. I think it worked. It, it's it's functional. I love the door handle. Oh, privacy. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm just gonna lock this up, and you guys can show me some more of the basement. All How's right. That? So over here is kind of the the main room. It's one of those things. It's like it's been on the list to do to to try and kind of finish it, but it just never. I never got around to it. I'm okay handy, but I'm not that handy. He's made progress over the years, and that's for sure. But I'm still very nervous because he did nail gun his fingers. So how long has this been let go? Oh, six years, seven years. Seven years with sheets hanging up in your basement? Oh, no, that's a recent addition. That's only been about three or four years. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like a guest area, a place for you guys to come down play games, cards, watch some TV. Yeah, but it's too cold, so I don't spend much time here. So Kevin took over, because he doesn't so mind your... the cold. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a man cave, because, you know, I don't have, I'm allowed to bring my tools in here, no. but uh, <laughs> it is a place that, you know, I'll come down with some buddies, and then, you know, we'll have a couple beers. I believe in your mind, you think this is kind of the spot now. You've taken Very this right so. over, got a nice poly wall, which I see a lot of tape. Like, what's, why is it tape so much behind well, the dartboard? Because uh, we're not very good at darts. You know, occasionally I'd look down and there'd be a dart stuck in my leg or something. So it just wasn't maybe the best sport for us. Well, I've seen enough of this. Um, I'd love to see your view. Sure. Let's go out and take a look. I love this space. This view is amazing. We absolutely love it. Yeah, this is actually why we picked this place, because uh, it's like a tree fort. It's just, you know, we've got a, a beautiful property, slopes down to the water. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. You know what, I totally get it now. Your guests come here, the docks there, they come up. This is the first thing they see. Yeah, their first view is this basement with these sheets and storage everywhere, and then this massive gaming thing. So it's not exactly the look I'd like for people to have when they arrive. So, Chantel, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to send you away for a couple days. Okay. Me and the boys are going to completely turn this space around for you. I've got a lot of great ideas. And the best part about it is my man Kev, he's staying with us. All right. You're going to teach him a few we're things? We're going to teach him how to do things, <laughs> and we're going to do something amazing for you. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's get this space cleared out. We're going to put a wall here so we can just put everything behind that beam and we're good to go. What do you got going on here? Talk to this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's check this out. Ready? First gear. Yeah. Nerd. Hey, oh, nerd, hey. Nerd, nerd, nerd. you want to go? <laughs> how about you try getting this thing out of here? All right. <laughs> Are we going to know how to put this back together again? <laughs> Have you noticed the dart repair? It's brilliant. So yeah, how nicely taped this is. But look at this side. <laughs> Priorities, right? Priority. Open the door. Hey, buddy. don't scratch the door. Rug roller. <laughs> Pillow fluffer. Curtain hanger. You old rug roller, you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas. Space is all cleared out. Huge room in here now. This is the vision. Fireplace in the center. Yeah. That's like the focal point of the room. Yeah. Nice sitting area. This can be kind of like a gaming area, some furniture. So it's a great spot to entertain. And we're gonna do the walls in wood with a shiplap style vertical. Whitewash them out in a color. TNG ceiling, all new wood trim, new floor. But now we got it cleared out, got a blank space. I got a ton of framing to do. 90 and 3 eighths. Okay. So 
So I'm starting to think about the time I have to do this project. It's not going to be easy. Hey, Kev. Yeah. Easy on the tape. We're not playing darts anymore. It's great, though. This stuff covers everything up. Well, it's just something It's like, Jesus, patches well. It holds things. You know, they say duct tape is the king of cottage stuff. But for me, it's tuck tape. <laughs> So you know what? I'm blazing away. I got a bunch done. The boys are strapping, and it's time. I got to see what this guy has. So I got a little section of wall I'm going to get him to build, explain it to him, and see what he's got. You all right with an air gun? No. Uh, actually, there was an incident when I was building my garage, and I nailed my fingers together, so I'm a little apprehensive. You nailed your fingers together? What? Oh, man. I better keep a better eye on this guy with the gun. So you're going to need to use the air gun. Now, one thing is, never walk around with your finger on the trigger, right. OK? Because if you happen to trip, as soon as this thing activates, it fires. Right. So when you do fire this one, you got to pull the trigger in. OK. So you pull the trigger, and you're good to go. Perfect. Okay. All right. You're going to need the level. OK. Don't point that at me. OK. Fingers off the You're going to need the tape, just in case you shoot yourself again. I know how well you like the duct tape. <laughs> yeah. You're ready to go, buddy. Going into this project, I would have said, yeah, like, I was a, a solid DIYer, and I, I'd give myself, like, 75%. Like, you know, there's always things to learn, but the experience now that I've had with these guys, is <laughs> that rating goes down to about 10%. You know, it's second nature to them. Just compress it down into the center. Yeah. Hold on, and then use the trigger. OK. OK? OK. Hey, you almost look like you know what you're doing. Looks can be deceiving. That's true. Luckily, I have a little bit of knowledge, and so Dave was good at guiding me along through the process. But uh, it took me a lot longer to do my wall than it actually took them to do, like, the other three walls. OK, boy, what are you guys sitting around for? You know what time it is? I know what time it is. It's time for the T and the G. What are you doing? I got some for you. Oh, what's it's this? It's red. It's your favorite color. Nice. It matches the tuck tape. This guy sweats crazy. I've never seen a guy sweat like that in my entire life. Oh, yeah. Hey, the boss. Were you born in the USA? I was born to run, baby. You look like you're working for the weekend. <laughs> oh, nice. Ow, oh, Jesus. So I'm putting down a new subfloor with some insulation on the back. This is how to roll, boys. Yeah. Nice. Listen, Kevin, I think we're in pretty good shape today. We've done a lot of work. So if you just get a couple more rows done, come on in. We'll get your trunks on, and we'll have some fun. All right. You guys got trunks on? Are you serious? Come on. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I've seen the way you're cutting in that ceiling. You might have to tape it off. It's not that bad. <laughs> Fireplace looks great. It's huge. It's a perfect size. Yeah, it's going to be a good focal point in the room for sure. Hey, we had a pretty good day yesterday. I'm happy with what we got done, but we got a ton of stuff we got to get done today. We got to get the boards done, get all the trim work. Paint. <laughs> paint? I guess I'll do the painting. And I'd like to try and get this started, too. The guy's coming around 10 o'clock or so to install it. Once this thing gets hooked up, then we'll come back and take a look at it and okay. figure out what we want to do. All right, let's get at it. All right. Let's get that nailed on. We'll uh, put the next one up, kind of decide on a spacing. All right, we'll pin that. What do you think of that, Dave? I think that's going to look perfect. And then once we get the trim on the bottom, trim on the top, it's going to really look cool in here. You know what? We got two or three boards on. We got a system going. It's looking awesome. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I've seen the way you're cutting in that ceiling. You might have to tape it off. It's not that bad. It's everywhere. 
I am not putting any more tape on. Don't worry about it. So the painting actually went uh, better than I thought. That product on his ceiling really took the paint beautifully. It's one coat and it looked great. He's doing a great job. He's actually a pretty good painter. Okay. Square footage wise, this is one of the biggest places we've done and we don't get any extra time, which is crazy. All right, what are you thinking for uh, the window trim here? I've envisioned you finishing it and me in the hot tub. <laughs> hey, Kev, come on over here for a sec. I want to whitewash these walls. Okay. And I figured out like half water, half paint mixed together was the perfect blend so that this way the knots and all the wood grains will actually bleed through when it dries and just give it a really cool look. So it's a nice cream color. Nice. Just brush it on like normal, but don't all get right. too, you know, aggressive with how much you put on because you want it to be fairly consistent. Want to give it a try? Sure. Because it's a whitewash, I've never used that product before. It's funny when it goes on wet, it looks very different. But once it dries, then you see like the, the perfect balance to the color. And like then I got what Dave was talking about. All right, boys, I think we're in pretty good shape here. I think if we get all the whitewash done tonight, maybe some of the last little bit of moldings around the ceiling, that would be that'd be great for tomorrow. A that leaves the flooring and the mantle and sure. stuff like that. What do you think, Kev? We should get this done tonight, eh? You're on a roll. Uh, absolutely. But you know what? It's time to give him a hand. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why does Derek always run away from the work? I guess I'll go give you a hand, buddy. Oh. Thanks, bud. Dave! What's the matter? Well, I got the hinges on, but if the door's not closing. Great night last night. I'm so glad we got that whitewash out of the way. Oh, it's a lot me. of work. Yeah. But today's an even bigger day. We got a ton of flooring to get down. This flooring is going to make this room pop. It's oh, going to wow. look really good. Yeah, it's going to look fantastic. Morning, guys. Pickles and coffee? What are you, pregnant? What are you, new? You never had pickles and coffee before? Anyways, we got a lot of things to do because Meryl's coming this afternoon to furnish this place. So let's get the flooring done. You see that door there? Yep. It's got your name written all over it, Kev. And later on, we got to get that mantle done, too. You gotta try it, buddy. It's awesome. All right, so Kev, I'm gonna get you to hang this door. All right. So this frame is gonna go in that opening. Gotcha. So to hang this door is quite easy because it's actually a kit you can buy that has all the parts already done. You just have to kind of put it together and install it. What I usually do is I put it in the opening first, level this hinge side first, mm -hmm. make sure you shim it. You can use these and split them in half. Don't over nail and fasten until you're 100% sure it's level and straight. Right. All right, straightforward. You know, he looked at me like it was just another day at the park. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So, hey, that's good. Let's see what he does. Hey, Anthony. Yeah, buddy? We got to do something cool with this fireplace. Of course. So what are you thinking? Like, I'd like to see an old timber sure. mantle and then some down posts to match. Yep. And, and I'd love to see some shelves if yeah, we can find something. It's too bare over here. We yeah. need something on either side for sure. Wish we had some timbers or something. You know what? We should maybe ask Kevin. Kevin? Yeah, what's going on, guys? We're looking for some timbers for oh. this. Well, actually, I've got a good buddy, Mark, who's across the lake. He's got a small mill. How long does it take us to get there? Oh, well, if you go by car, it's over half an hour, but uh, it's quicker, much quicker by boat. Well, that's great. You don't happen to know anybody with a boat, do you? I actually have a pontoon, my friends. Well, that's a no-brainer. Anytime I get a chance to get on a boat, let's go. All right, All right let's, let's do this. Hey, Derek, you mind wrapping this up? Do you enjoy toying with my emotions? Absolutely. What's with these guys always getting all the fun? Oh, Derek, can you finish this up for us? Oh, we want to go have some fun. Of course I can finish it, Anthony, but I'd like to go on the goddamn boat. 
Always cleaning up. All right. So this is my buddy Mark's place. Sweet. He said basically we could take any of this wood that we want. Ooh, this is perfect. It's all nice pine, live edge. Yeah, let's start a little pile here of things we want. He had some amazing pieces of wood, which we picked out of there, and I'm really excited to use. OK, I got it. You got it? Yep. He said, take what you need, so we did. All right. Look at this. Ooh, I like the looks of okay. this one. It's just got some real great character in it, eh? All right, done. Let's get at it. OK. This way or this way? Oh, uh, that's upside down. OK. Hopefully, I got this right. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> it's backwards. Ah, oh, you dumb jackass. Now you got to turn all these hinges around the other way. OK, why is the door hitting the friggin'? I got to go up. I thought it seriously would take 10 minutes to put this door up. Holy frick, that door's coming off the hinges. The thing wouldn't even come close to closing. Like, it would be, like, within a foot, and it'd stop. Dave, what's the matter? Well, I got the hinges on, but it's, the door's not closing. Like, look. It kind of stops here, and it just kind of springs out. You know what? I think he's a little better at putting blanket doors on than real doors. Just take it right out and start from scratch. So I'm like, OK, let's just take all these screws out. We'll pull the door out and start from scratch again. Are the hinges on right? Uh, when I initially kind of was lining stuff up with the hinges, I actually had the door upside down. Would you just spin the, spin the hinges around? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, of course it's not going to close. You got the hinges on backwards. So I took the hinges off, flipped them around, and said, hey, look at how they close now. And he's like, oh, I didn't think it would make that big of a difference. Well, it does. So you know what the good thing is? Maybe you're not that bad at doors. Because <laughs> well, I'm going to let you try this again. Why don't we just put a set of curtains here? <laughs> It's like it grew there, dude. <laughs> this place is looking so good. And you know what? Kev's even got the door done. Oh, yeah, babies, it's done. Great. Oh, my. Oh, my God. These shelves you guys built are beautiful. These got to go here for sure. Thank you. Those were his grandpa's. Oh, really? They're very yeah. cool. You know what, we're all done. It's time to bring Meryl in and let her do her thing. Good call on these. They look great. They match the wood. Perfect. It's meant Perfect. to be. This was their couch, too. Hey. Oh, this is beautiful. You just relax then, OK? I'm done. You take a load off. Oh. <laughs> look at that. It's got a nice really good. herringbone pattern. No. You know what they call me? What's that? Rally O'Malley. Well, let's rally for a beer. Loser has to go get him. OK. Ah. Uh, well, go get us a beer. Well, I'm going to go get Chantel while I'm at it, because we're ready for it. All right. This was a classic case of a DIYer who bit off more than he could chew. It's a giant space, and Kevin just didn't know how to finish it and came up with Band-Aid solutions. But in just two days, we've wow. turned this basement into a stunner. And it's time to show Great. Chantel. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even have words right now. This is am amazing. Oh my god! It's so perfect. I mean, you know, you leave, you see cement and, and insulation, you come back and it's these beautiful walls, beautiful floor, beautiful decoration. You're like, oh my god, am I in my cottage? Is this really where I live? Are these grandpas? Oh my god. It's just beyond words. Well, Chantel, what do you think? You finally got your basement back. Dave! Oh, my god! This is so beautiful. Well, you know what? When I first saw the space, wood upstairs, wood all around, I knew you guys loved the wood. 
but I knew you'd want to see some color. We put pine boards on the wall and bleached them out with a color. Oh, so yeah. you can see how you can see the, the knots and all the grains and the white ceiling, tongue oh. and groove. Oh my God. Brightens it... up the space. First thing we did actually is put some insulated subfloor in. So the floor is actually insulated underneath. And now you've got a fireplace, so you should have no issues with heat down here oh at all. God. But to do a fireplace, we needed something that looked really unique. Oh, it's beautiful. The wood, it's the stuff that Mark milled. Oh my God, like the, that's so the special. The cedar and the pine. We kept all the live edge stuff, and the shelves are all actually trees with the, the bark tore off them. The wood, the wood is just amazing. There's a cool <laughs> spot for everybody to kind of hang out. There had to be a little bit of balance. He what? lost his big TV and his gaming station, yeah. so we had to give him a couple little things back. Now he's got a nice little area to entertain and play some ping pong, hang out with the boys. You've got a great spot to hang out and enjoy the fireplace, enjoy the view of the lake. It's a perfect room for both of you guys to enjoy now. I just love it. I'm glad you love it because oh, it was it was so much work. He framed all this on his own. Oh my gosh. Framed the doorway in. And actually this door here, yes. top to bottom, he did it by himself. Wow. Mm. Oh. To realize you can't start at noon and knock off at three. This is what, how you kind of approach work at the cottage, right? I'm looking forward to it now. It, it's not as daunting as it was uh, four days ago. Oh. It's great. Funny. You know what? Kev's a great guy. He uh, He's pretty happy-go-lucky. He's always bouncing around. He's not shy to offer you a beer, so he gets a lot of brownie points for that. I think he's got potential to be a pretty decent carpenter in due time.